Okay, so Williams R percentage, here's how it goes, man. Like, I first noticed the Williams R percentage maybe at least a year ago. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I've been doing this for four years, so of course I've, I've seen it. So when I really started to really, like, start to take it serious and start to say, like, I'm going to be looking for this to be done, because the Williams are what I would always notice. Okay, with the Williams are okay. Look, the order of everything it goes like this: like your MACD is going to push the RSI to seventy or thirty. In between that, your stochastic twins are your drivers. Your MACD is like your fuel. The RSI is your destination, that's where it's heading. Your stochastic is your driver. The stochastic RSI would be like your backup driver. The MACD is like the fuel. That's like the engine and the fuel. It's just like the MACD is green. That means you're going to 70 on the RSI, basically, right? If the MACD is green, like real green, not just neutral, just getting green or back and forth, not I mean like it's been green, it's green. So green MACD, the five hours green. That's what I mean. The five hours green and the one hours green right now. You know what I'm saying? Five hours green, the one hour red. That's what I'm There's a one hour red inside the five hour. But until that five hour Williams R or daily Williams R switches over, there's no bueno, don't do anything. You're done for it. So you're done, done. You're done like this mosquito if he doesn't get away from me. So I don't wanna commit murder today. You know? So you know, I killed your father, you know what I'm saying? I thought you would have learned your lesson. Sorry to say like that, but that's crazy. You killed the whole mosquito's family. You only killed a couple of them, they don't care. They they ain't coming back with trap up. What? So, anyway, Williams R percentage, it goes like this. I like it because you, you start to figure out other indicators, and some of them will have negative and positive, and I always like those. Shout out to the negative and positive indicators out there. One of them. Of course, Matt is a negative and positive and stuff, but, but, but uh, besides Matt the Osmo is the, is, is the oscillators and the moving averages. It's negative or positive. It'll let you know. The Osmo is positive. The Osmo is one of my favorite ones. Put the Osmo in your meditator. Osmo is not on investing.com. They don't show the Osmo. But the oscillator moving average is, is, is up there. Osmo is, is similar to the RVI. The RVI is negative and positive. The RVI is like the twin brother of the RSI. It's the relative vigor in the index. How vigorous is this price? How vigorous is this price? So it's like that if it's negative, it lets you know. So if you got a negative RVI, negative Osmo, and a negative uh, uh, William Tarr percentage all in red, you know, um, that's only that. That's the difference. With the Williams R, it's negative. It's like it goes from negative 100 to negative 100. It, it doesn't go to positive 100. It goes to from negative 100 to zero, and then from zero, it's either gonna go like to negative 100. Either way, like I'm not sure what it does when it hits zero. Like I know on investing, it, it, it will say hit zero, and then after that, it will go into the other color. But by the time it hits zero, it's already in the other color. That's what I'm saying. It stops at negative 100. When is that negative 100? You got to get in or get out. It's like, so you look at it on investing. Because on MetaTrader, it won't just tell you. It'll just say negative 100. But if it was selling already, then you know that's what negative 100 means. It is to sell. So the sell is done. So the Williams are, that's how it goes. When it's negative 100, it is done. The move is done. You get out. But you have to go out the highest chart available. It's going to be either monthly, or weekly, or daily, or five hours. Nothing under the five hour. Even the daily, even the hourly will screw you over. Don't do that. Four hour daily. William Zarr. That simple. Let it ride. You go to investing.com, right? Like real charge. Say like, you'd be like, Chad, I like to trade the baby boy. And you'd be like, Jody? You know what I'm saying? Like real charge, right? Like Isaiah calls the euro the baby boy. So whatever. You know, that's the baby boy. I'm like, all right, man. Shut up. Right? Euro's crashing, bro. It just went down to a dollar. Yo, shout out to the Euro. It's time to hold the Euro. Everybody hold your Euros. Hold your nuts if you still got them, sissies. Oops. Oops.
Listen, hold the euro and your nuts. Hold your nuts and the euro. Hold the euro and your nuts. Hold your nuts in Europe. If you're in Europe, hold your nuts. Y'all's dollar is like bad. I mean, but it's a good opportunity to make money for us, the pimps out here. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all the pimps out there pimping the system. Man, trade your euros. Hold your euros. Euro, euro, euro. It is euro season. Buy your euro ETF currency trans. Euro anything, bro. Euro trust funds, all Euro everything. Right now, what we talking? August, September 2022. Let's get it. Euro, Euro, Euro. What does it do? We are going to check the Williams R percentage for you on the Euro and see when it is done and really show you all how it's really done. We're going to do this from now on and we're going to have like a weather show. I want to do a nighttime Put me on nighttime television. Put me on any slot in television. I don't care. We're going to have the best ratings. You know why? Because you're going to have your hand over your mouth the entire time. Like, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my gosh. Eventually, you're going to have to leave the building because you're just causing an interruption. <laughs> no matter what you're doing, laughing, crying, screaming, yelling, throwing stuff, I'm wearing... Uh, tomato proof suit, basically. You know, throw your tomatoes if you got them, nigga. It's all good. I'm gonna be, matter of fact, I'm gonna have to be in one of those dunk tanks talking crap. And you can just throw the ball and dunk me in the water. Matter of fact, just because it's a show, I have it set up to where I get dunked every five minutes. So now I'm really talking smack. Now I'm just mad. I'm like, look, I gave you what you wanted. I'm gonna talk my crap. I'm gonna get dunked in water. Back and forth. You know, and, and just, uh, uh, right? And then, you know, eh, you just, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's going to be funny. You all are going to like that. But besides that, something like that, we'll do a segment like that where I just, like, go ahead and do that, right? But I really want to do a nighttime, like, I want to do weather. I want to do, like, the weatherman, right? But for the financial markets, oh, man, oh, man, hurricane coming. Oh, the year of going through a tsunami. Oh, gosh, just fun everywhere. Oh, gosh. Like, I, <laughs> yo, straight, like, what, what's his name? Will Ferrell. Don't do that to Will Ferrell. Don't you ever ask what's his name, boy. It's supposed to roll off your tongue, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to one of the goats, Will Ferrell. He's just like, he's carrot top gone right. Oh, no, I did not just... Yes. A second hand. I think we did. Hey, look, bro. Real talk. Look, man. Look, bro. I'm going to do another segment later because these be clicking off. So I'm going to just, you know. William Zar, right? William Zar, daily five hours, bro. It took me four years, two months to get this. I started trading first week of June 2018, four years ago. That was two months ago plus four years. Four years, two months, about 40,000 hours in. No telling how much you. Dollars thrown into it. Good. Don't want to know. Doesn't.